loves, it's Sam. I have Hello Kitty behind me today. She totally wants to be my friend. So I thought, oh, she was like in the closet. She was like, oh my god, please let me make my, my, my cameo appearance. And I was like, yeah, you can today. Um, so if you don't like this, don't get upset. Don't get it all, oh my god, why'd you change your background again? I just have a bunch of different sheets and blankets to just put over my background. Sometimes you just get a little bored, you know? So I've had my butterflies for a little bit, so I thought I'd bring Hello Kitty out because sometimes I just like to switch it up in life. I have had so many people request for me to do the hair tutorial that I wore or that I wear, you know, I've, I've worn it quite a few times and I think my Friday favorite Fr Friday favorites and Fudgeroos in quite a few different videos and so I thought, you know what, I will do it. My hair is kind of, uh, it's not freshly washed today and instead of putting it up in a ponytail and looking like absolute poo, I figured I would film this for you guys. You can do it for your hair if it's clean or dirty so I like to do it when my hair is dirty because it's like you can quickly add a couple of curls pin it up and you're good to go and it's not taking too much of your time so it's a great look for someone who doesn't have a lot of time um, but still wants to look cute and professional so basically you just need a one inch curling iron a thermal protectant spray and hairspray and a couple bobby pins and that's it so keep on watching have a great weekend thumbs up for Hello Kitty so, uh, I got my hair up in a ponytail right now because I just did this tutorial, my makeup. You can do this on clean hair, ding, or you can do it on dirty hair. My hair is a little bit dirty. I washed it like, yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. Anyway, so either way, whether your hair is clean or whether your hair is dirty, it's really not going to matter. Obviously, you don't need to be super greasy because then you'll look like you're a greasy face. So, um, mine is not greasy. It's just, you know not freshly washed. I look like a news anchor. Don't I? Just brush your hair out. Uh, I hate brushing my hair. I'm like those little little girls that like run away from their mom. I remember like babysitting little kids and you'd go to brush their hair and they like literally I had this one little girl she would run away from me and I would always try to like, oh my god, brushing your hair is so fun, when really I was thinking, I hate brushing my hair too, it kind of hurts. So, uh, okay, so what did I do? I basically just parted my hair where it was parted. The curling iron, curling iron I'm using is my Infinity by Conair. Um, you can get these at Walmart, Ulta, pretty much any drugstore. Uh, they're really inexpensive, I think they're about $39.95. I always put mine to 395, the, the very hottest um, setting. I do have quite thick hair. I always just go with the hottest setting and that way you don't have to hold it as long. It just, it's real quick. It's a lot easier. So I used my InfraGuard Thermal Defense Light Shine Mist. This is basically just a um, heat protectant. I try not to put too much of this on because it can get a little bit greasy if you spray too much. So kind of try to get it away from your roots. Just focus it mainly on your ends. I basically just grabbed like really, really big sections and didn't hold it for very long. So I'm gonna leave my bangs out though because I'm gonna pin those back. So just like, you know, biggish sections starting from the top it wasn't like really that kind of I didn't really section it off or be real specific with it I just kind of grabbed pieces and curled it so um, on this side I always go away from my face and then just held it for like literally a couple seconds and then just let it go always start in the middle like shaft of your hair of your section so like you know say you've got your piece start up here so put it like right kind of up towards the middle and then kind of tap your curling iron and then pull it down rather than curling it from the bottom that way you've got a solid curl from root to ends so you can see I'm just grabbing like really big chunks of hair and holding it for like barely any time just because I want to get just a little bit of like that kind of loose romantic curl in there.
this is like one of the easiest hair styles ever I like it when you're kind of your hair is dirty you're not really sure what to do and you're like oh I don't have much time then but you still want to look put together just do this because it barely takes anything like even sometimes I find that if you have to flat iron your hair it takes longer because you have to do smaller sections do you know what I mean this side I, I just always make sure I'm curling away from my face so turn your iron the other angle away so that it's going out okay so pretty much you've got most of it curled so then I just literally just start fingering out the curls with my fingers because you wouldn't be able to finger it out with anything else so see how they're just like really kind of nice loose waves so then I just got my bangs so basically if you're wanting to do the kind of bump in the front I don't really know what else to call it other than the bump um, grab your bangs or just kind of a v-shaped I mean it's not got to be perfect section in the front. If your hair is very fine, you can back comb it a little bit. Luckily mine's not, so I don't have to. Then you pinch it and then push. So then you're going to get your bobby pins. So I usually use three. I put one going where my finger is. I just hold it and push it in place. So one going that way and then one going the opposite direction, still holding it in place, and then crossing over so that it's kind of in like an X almost. And then I put one more just kind of over that again, just to make sure it's really secure, it's not going anywhere, and it's gonna stay in place. Then just stick your finger in here and kind of pull it a little bit, make sure you've got the volume that you want, and that's how you do a bump. And then, for the rest of the hair, just kind of finger it out how you like it. And then you can always kind of do some back combing in here to make it a little bigger. Like this is my flat side, because I'm a total flathead. So I just get this little, um, this is from Cricut, it's just the amped up teasing brush. So just pull it up and then just kind of give it a little bit of teasing and then brush over it we'll do a little bit over here I don't like to do too much because I don't want it to look stiff you know I like it to just look a little bit more kind of like oh you just jumped out of bed and your hair looks so wavy and romantic or something and then just fix your bangs so that they're kind of going over and then the bang like the back bit that's going back kind of looks like you have a little bit of volume there too is all I did what is this little piece is that supposed to be bang I don't know if you have any pieces that didn't take like this piece just recurl it but sometimes I kind of just like it when they're a little, like a little bit looser around the face and then you can always kind of massage I always like to massage at the roots give it a little what's it and then spray with hairspray this is the Kenra volume spray 25 it's my favorite hairspray usually what I'll do is just kind of hold it and then spray it and then push it up oh I got some in my eye and voila that is how you get the soft kind of curly bump do I don't really know what to call it but um thank you so much for the requests and I hope you like it. Bye.